So, um, this is going to be my first tutorial, and um, the look we're going for is these big beachy type waves. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. I've had um, probably a couple people request a tutorial, so I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, sorry if I'm rushing through everything, I'm kind of late for work, so enjoy the video. Bye. Okay, um, first we're going to go ahead and um, talk about the curling iron that I use. It is the Infinity by Conair, and it's pretty much um, a clipless barrel. I think this is about an inch, I believe, from here, from the bottom. I'm not so sure. Um, there are a lot of beauty um, bloggers out there and YouTube gurus that have... Um, went ahead and did a tutorial on this um, barrel and I actually love it. It um, does the job and uh, pretty much it's affordable for you guys to go ahead and purchase this item. You can um, use a regular curling iron but I prefer this much better. I also wanted to go ahead and warn you guys to be careful when using this. If you have the glove for it, please, please use it. Um, in my case, I'm used to curling my hair without the um, safety um, glove that it comes with but unfortunately I think it was the same day that I was filming my first video that I got injured um, using this um, clipless iron this is actually the burn mark that I got and um, it actually really hurts it was for a split second and um, I got injured pretty bad from that well, anyway, let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So, what we want to do is go ahead and use a heat tamer spray. And you can get this anywhere. Um, Target, I'm Walmart. I don't know if CVS carries it. But um, it's uh, easier to get it from Target or so. I'm just going to go ahead and randomly cut my or split my hair. It doesn't have to be perfect. But um, it's going to be easier if you split your hair when you curl. Okay, there's no actual direction that I go on about with curling. Um, usually, for me, it's uh, from the front, so it's away. And then um, I just kind of curl all the way around. So in this case, I'm just doing it like this. This heats up actually pretty fast, so you're going to want to be careful. For me, I put it on, I think the setting's on 330 degrees. Uh, I got burned off of 400, which is the highest setting, and I wouldn't really suggest, um, what do you call it, do, uh, using that setting. Plus, it's too hot, it might damage your hair. So, that's about a couple seconds. That's what the curl looks like. And, okay, I'm going to go ahead and continue the rest of my hair. So you just go ahead, you grab a part of your hair, and you just kind of twist and loop it around the barrel. Just be very, very careful. I hold the barrel straight like this rather than um, holding it down like this. Um, I'm not really sure why I do that, but uh, that's, that's how I... Maintain a curl. Not all the curls are going to be perfect, but you can go ahead and go back and fix it later on. Okay, once you get like your base curls in, I actually, if you notice, I left out my bangs. And that's because I might want to style it later. Oh, I missed this part. I might want to style that differently later. So I just left it alone. 
you can curl it if you want, but in my case, like I said, I, I want to style it differently later, just because I'm not quite sure which way my hair is going to go. So, what I do is I go ahead and I tug on the very ends of the curls, just so that it kind of flattens out in the bottom. And then by doing so, I feel like, oh, for me, I feel like I gain length by pulling the curls down so they're a bit more relaxed rather than like tight like the top curls then you're gonna go ahead and take a regular teasing comb so this is my teasing comb you can get these at Sally's I'm gonna go ahead and go in and just kind of back comb a little doesn't have to be perfect because you can just Fix it with your fingers later on. So, just back combing, and I'm seeing that I'm missing some little hairs. So, pretty much you do this until you gain the volume that you want. Um, that's what I did, see? The difference here and here, it's much more volumized on this side by backcombing. And on this side, it's just a little bit more flat, so just kind of go in there. doesn't have to be perfect. In my case, I like really, really big curls, so as much as possible, I try to go ahead and um, tease the curls as much as I can, but not every part of your hair, just the areas you think will go ahead and tease everything. Um, so your last option is pretty, or the next step is to pretty much, um, hairspray your curls down. If you want, you can go ahead and play with your hair, you can tease it, you can leave it like this. In my case for today, I am actually going to, it's kind of messy now, I'm actually going to go ahead and tie it up and see it's like really messy And I just grab a piece. I get a hair tie and just tie it down. Just kind of make it all messy. I like the messy look, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it this way. If you're wondering why I'm looking that way, it's because my mirrors are to my left. So, or to your right, my left. So, move. Gonna kind of finish this off. Oh, I'm sticking up. In my case, or in your case, you don't have to do what I'm doing. It's like finishing off the bangs. 
Um, which didn't even turn out right. Well, anyway, you get the point. Um, you can leave this down. You can leave it up like how I'm doing it. And then you can put um, a decorative bow or a flower, a little clip, if you will. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. And I'm sorry that my tutorial is kind of boring. It's my first tutorial, so hopefully um, I get used to it later on. Uh, bye!